Did you know they've remade Unforgiven as a samurai film? Really? Like last year in Japan. Interesting. So and like the inverse of what Clint Eastwood movies used to do with samurai films. Yeah, and Ken Watanabe is the Clint Eastwood role. Nice. I would, I would fucking... Uh, anything in the style of Unforgiven like that tells that story in any setting, I'm fucking in. So Old Man Logan. Yeah. Oh, yeah. How are my levels, Chris? They're fine. Good. How, how, are, you, how are your levels, Chris? They're great. I how, was the first one I checked. How are your levels, Chris? They're shite. 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 I got cream on my face because I'm an invisible man. I don't wear bandages. Are you doing whatever Fuck you, you can? F- Fuck you. I don't wear bandages, you fucking can't. Is that supposed to be your Irish accent? It's all of them. <laughs> it's all it's fucking just every every accent. Here's some fucking bandages, man. Yeah. Is that Pee Wee? No. Oh. <laughs> you give, give him your Pee Wee. <laughs> You're starting to laugh into it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> have you I got he- cream on my face? Uh, have you heard? Have you heard Jake's Wilson Fisk? No, uh, I, I forgot. I, I forgot what the the inciting was inciting like uh, phrase was. But yeah, well, it was the Wesley. But I was talking about something. You've got like a growl. Yeah, I forgot what it was because he says something in 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 uh, in one of the episodes we were talking about. Uh, you embarrassed we, me yeah. in front of her. <laughs> You embarrassed uh, me, Wesley, in front of her. Now I'm a giant baby, <laughs> Wesley. I have no family, <laughs> Wesley. I'm General Zod. <laughs> oh, now having flashbacks to to Batman, Batman Superman. Superman, Man of Steel. Yeah, I think this is as good as time as any. I mean, mm, this Zod peen. Yeah, if you haven't, huh? Well, now I'm definitely seeing that movie. <laughs> mm. Um, so yeah, if. If you haven't surmised this is another installment of Catching Up, I'm Sam. I'm Chris. I'm Jake. I'm Josh. And we're not signing off just yet, but this is a rather quick discussion and really a tease for a bigger discussion about a certain <laughs> film that came out uh, this past weekend called Batman v Superman Dawn of Justice um, that, uh, Josh, you've already seen twice and I've seen exactly zero times. <laughs> well, Jake's seen it, twice. seen it twice. yeah. Oh, you've seen it twice? I'm yeah. the only one that's only seen it once. Yeah. So, so far. So, Sam, you have to see it three times to balance us out. Mm. Do I? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm probably going to. So if anybody wants to join me on Wednesday, I'm going to watch the fucking mm. shit on Wednesday. I may. Um, for five whole smackaroos. Mm. Um, and then we can talk about it. But real quick, real quick, zero to 100, real, real quick, quick. <laughs> what did you guys, the three of you, think of it? That's, I, a, that's a loaded question. I give it an overall thumbs up, though. I give it an overall thumbs up reluctantly but it Crouched is crouched at the starting line yeah but i don't know i i it's one of those it, i swear to god like when the movie was over and i was talking to other people at work and stuff i didn't know how to answer them like i it, it was such a th- basically real quick zero to hundred real quick <laughs> this movie proves once and again for me not for i don't care about anyone else but for me Zack snyder is a great moment guy mm. he can snag you with a moment Rough but visual but big picture he it is such a mess. Cohesive story. I, it, is, it, it is a problem as a big picture. I liken him to Stephen Moffat of uh, Doctor Who fame, who does great episodes. Like he's the reason why Captain Jack exists. You know, he well in, in theory he directed that. Episode. Is that your favorite uh, Eccleston episode? It is the day the Doctor dances or the Doctor uh, dances. That whole that that empty the, child. Yeah, the the whole like <laughs> oh you my mommy. You know that whole shit. Like yes, that it's got to be and blink. Yeah, you, during the Tenant era. Mm-hmm. Yeah, which yeah, Stephen Moffat was also credited as uh, directing Blink, um, and, and like so he's great at that, but terrible at being the showrunner, which is basically what we're saying about. I agree with you mm. about Snyder. He does some great action pieces, you know, like and 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 what uh, we were talking about before, you know, we got on mic is like whenever he pulls something directly from a comic book. It's awesome. Like, you know, he it, has it, that like, panel. He has that mm-hmm. visual to yeah. make a reality. Mm-hmm. And he's great at giving yeah. it motion in life. Yeah. I found life. I found life. I will say, for anyone keeping score out there, there were three moments that got, I got really emotional. But there was one moment that, like, every single time I'm so, like, almost tears of joy for happy. And I'll just tease it for that because I don't want to say it, obviously, mm-hmm. for, for everybody. But um, there are plenty of moments in this movie I really loved. And w- leaving the theater, I will say. Compared to the first time I saw Man of Steel to the first time I saw Batman v Superman, I enjoyed Batman v Superman way more than Man of Steel. Yeah. And uh, well, uh, real quick before Josh uh, gets to put in his two cents, uh, I loved the way that they handled introducing the Batman into the universe because I get it 
Like you feel like you have to, because you're introducing a character, you feel like you have to give him an origin story. Thank God they got it out of the way in like 10 minutes flat. Like the, the movie starts with the confrontation, uh, you know, like uh, uh, with the Waynes in the alleyway, you know, and the whole bang, bang. Everyone knows what his fucking backstory is. And Zack Snyder and whoever, you know, wrote it. I feel terrible that I David don't know. David Goyer's him. one of them. And sure. Chris Terrier. Yeah, yeah. They were like, people know this. People got it. They, Ten years ago, we had Batman Begins come out and like millions of, you know, other adaptations of this story. So like just bang, bang, they're dead. They actually did it in a very pretty artsy way. Uh, and then, you know, he falls down the thing, bats, and then boom, he, you know, cut to he's been Batman for 20 years. And it was just mm, beautiful. I was like, thank God. And like, so right from the get go, I was in this movie's corner because I feel like they did that right. And if Civil War can do that with Spider-Man, I will be so happy. Josh, what did you think? I absolutely loved it. Cool. You're also, the well, and you're also <laughs> the biggest fan of like Man of Steel, so like that's your yeah. favorite Superman film. Uh, to date, yes. And when I walked out of it for the fan screening, I was still in shock over everything I had witnessed in the film. Uh, for someone who likes to go in with knowing everything that happens, there was a shitload that was still hidden from me in this film. So, mm. Yeah, I was very happy at how little the trailers ended up giving away about like everything that happens and even in the just movie. people reporting on it on the film managed to not be given every little piece of you know yeah, information they, they waited until the day before the movie came out <laughs> yeah but uh which thank god i still stayed away from all of that because i'm the exact opposite and i like to go into a movie not knowing anything yeah 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 so I'll sorry, I'll, Sam. Yeah, <laughs> I'll let you guys know because obviously at this point, you know, it's been out for. By the time this thing posts, it'll be out for almost a full fucking week. Um, so yeah, I I'll we'll reconvene after I've caught up. Yeah, we'll have a nice long episode for that. Yeah, that'll yeah. be that'll be. A, yeah, uh, there's a lot to talk about. There might be a, there might be a guest star that that week too. Yeah. Also, I would like to add that despite what. 98, 99% of the critics are saying about this film, at least you owe it yourself to see it once if you're even generally a bit interested. That's, I mean, that's how how it works. Yeah, like, don't, <laughs> yeah, like, see the movie, you know? Yeah. Make yeah. make up your own damn minds. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Cheer. Cheer. Cheer, what? Uh, you know, the entire time I was in uh, Los Angeles, because I went to WonderCon this past week. Uh, I didn't uh, hear California Love by Tupac and Dr. Dre once. No. Did you hear California by Phantom Planet? What, what about Going Back to Cali by LL Cool J? None of those. Huh. Not a, California Girls you, by, uh, by Be- the Beach Boys? Nope. Or California Girls by Katy Perry? Uh, no, no, uh, none of that. Yeah. No. Then how were you actually, how do you know you were actually yeah, in California? I don't think you actually I thought were. that that just like played from the palm trees. I went to I went to Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. You were in California. Yeah. You, you've done the one thing I have yet to be able to do every single yeah. time I've been to yeah. California. Yeah, me too. Kiss a girl. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't kiss a girl on this trip. <laughs> <laughs> no, I I have done that on a trip to California. Ooh! Oh, how you like me now? Uh, I feel like we're a live studio audience. Today. Oh boy! <laughs> oh boy, Joshua! I've never actually kissed a girl in California. He's he's got. Oh. I've never actually kissed a girl, so you know. <laughs> Just period. <laughs> what is I've had, girl? I've been engaged. I've had several girlfriends, but no, nev- no never kissed one. Uh, yeah, mm, it's awkward. Mm, yeah, but uh, so how was the con? <laughs> con is fine. It's put on by the same people that put on San Diego Comic Con every year. Mm. Well, this was the only year in the for the first foreseeable future they're doing it in los angeles because the convention center in anaheim is under renovation and it's supposed to be there for at least the next two years Ooh. i was kind of bummed because if it was the convention center in anaheim is right next to disneyland yeah Damn. yeah that's where that's where celebrate star wars was uh last year so if i go next year image i want to <laughs> uh, <clears throat> uh, <Corey>. uh yeah <laughs> emily but the uh i would you know because I I don't know how facetious I'm being when I say this, but is the pinnacle of human achievement the haunted mansion? No. Okay. No. No. But it is, I know. It. But you know what? I'll give you this. It is your favorite yeah. ride. I'll give it. I'll give him that. For me, absolutely, but fucking not. But for you, 
anything, buddy, because I know it is. <laughs> maybe maybe kissing a girl while yeah. riding on the haunted mansion. Oh, <laughs> you know, I originally probably would have given it to uh, Alien Escape, but yeah, I'll give it. Actually, to... ah, I remember that shit. No, you but know ever what? Since you know what? No. They changed it. I'm. I, I have to give it to Haunted Mansion now. You know what? I, I Haunted Mansion the movie. I don't think it was that good. Oh, the movie? Oh, yeah, Teddy <laughs> Fuck Murphy. no, yeah. Then why are you saying that's the pinnacle of... No. <laughs> oh, God. No. I mean, there's something just pure about the haunted fucking mansion. And originally, yeah. originally He's... Disney opposed it. He's like, why is there a decrepit mansion in the middle of my pristine family-friendly park? And then mm-hmm. they showed him the concept art of the interiors, and he was like, mm-hmm. okay, he okay. can stay. <laughs> <laughs> he can stay. Oh, man. They have his frozen head st- on display. Uh, uh, have you been to the Disneyland Haunted Mansion? I've been, yeah, I've yeah. been to, you, uh, yeah, I've been to both, but not, but not Euro, because there's one in there's Phantom Manor in in, in mm. uh, Euro, Disney. which is part of the same family. Yeah, yeah, and the cool thing about Phantom Manor is, I guess they all kind of have a pseudo story if you know the the lore. But yeah, they're they're all relatively <laughs> the mythology, the mythology of the Haunted Mansion, the continuity. The um, <laughs> the Phantom Manor is all about this chick that whose fiance the day of their wedding gets lured into the attic and uh, fucking hanged by a ghost man, Sweet. and. Yeah. Uh, you see her, hey, Mr. Ghost Man. You see her like age into like a lonely old widow, or I guess she's not married, so pseudo widow, over the course of the ride and become a ghost herself. Mm. So it's like more tragic and scary, and they have elements of what would have been their their western theme because that was originally supposed to be part of Frontier Town, but then they were just like, we don't have, let's make it something else. Let let's make it a fucking Swiss Family Robinson background. So they just folded all that into the Haunted Mansion, so at a, or Phantom Manor. So at a, at a point in Phantom Manor, you're in a haunted mining town. Well, at least they didn't mm-hmm. fold in Phantom Menace. No, no. Jar Jar Binks. Oh, I, but Jar Jar Binks' is he- ghost head on a platter? That'd be the scariest thing. Mm. The scariest. No, uh, it would be the happiest moment, I think, for a lot of things. It is the, it is the <laughs> happiest place on Earth. Yeah. The... Um, but yeah, and the cool thing about Phantom Manor is it's designed off the Psycho Mansion, like Hitchcock Psycho. So mm. yeah, check it out. But the um, man, it, I need to go to Euro Disney. And it originally had Vincent Price narrating the. Ooh. Oh, the I really. Need but not to anymore. Go. No, they they France passed a law where everything has to be in the French language oh, for, for a lot of their attractions, and so they. So just, they got Robert Kiley. They and got spared no expense. <laughs> they got the guy that dubbed Vincent Price in all his movies originally uh, in France know. to dub to okay. do the narration. You know, it'd be cool is if someone had the Vincent Price dialogue and released it on the internet and you could just sync it up sweet. in your headphones. What you can. I was about to say, <laughs> I was about to say, like, oh, do they provide... Oh, but, oh, but you will. <laughs> uh, like, title cards and, like, English for you during the ride? Do you know what's being said? You or? can get, I'm sure you can get, like, one of those things that you can get at the Smithsonian with, like, the weird stick mm. that plays, like, oh, yeah, uh, they have whatever. That, they have this at Mount Vernon. Yeah. Um, the tingler is loose in the theater. I'm sure they say that at Mount Vernon. Yeah, if you hit the first button when you walk into the mansion, they go, everyone, the tingler is loose. And there's like a, a tingle, tingler monster that runs around in the <laughs> Just mansion. Just a giant lobster, yep. rubber lobster. Rubber man. lobster that runs around in the, in the mansion. I got to hang. Speaking of uh, of West Worlds, you know who's writing or one of the... Uh, you that piqued my interest with Westworld. Well, so HBO's doing Westworld. Mm-hmm. It's supposed to air later this year. Mm-hmm. They delayed production until the, I think, end of this month or something because they wanted to shore up the last four scripts. One of the staff writers and supervising producers on Westworld is Ed Brubaker, mm-hmm. who Ooh. who brought The Winter Soldier, made Bucky The Winter Soldier. I got to talk to him a bit about like Golden Age Hollywood because he really digs like... And somebody gave him like a Cy a Young pin. Like he gets like the weirdest fan shit. Like he was doing a, a couple signings at WonderCon and was helping run those. And somebody gave him a four-page letter about how much they like handwritten letter about how much they love <laughs> the Winter Soldier. And he's like, I wish I could say this was like the only time I got one. <laughs> 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 and somebody gave him a Cy Young pin. I was like, dude, are you even into baseball? He's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, that's for Todd McFarlane. Yeah. <laughs> Is he there? Todd, no. 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 Uh, you never you didn't get strips. to meet him. Oh, uh, what's it? Yeah. Mark Silvestri <laughs> was there. Sweet. He's a tall. Is he? Drink of water. Sure. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he could drink quite a few. But um <laughs> But yeah, uh yeah, it was a, it, I mean it was a good time. It's always good to go and then again, Roscoe's chicken and waffles is like one of the most delicious fucking things. I went to a club with my friend Mandy who uh lives in uh in Los Angeles. It, it's like a 
It's called the break room. Mm-hmm. You go in and you think you're in the back room of a kitchen because you technically are for like the other part of the block. And then they open up one of the vending machines, and you're in a fucking nightclub. Oh. Ooh. And they have Ataris and karaoke rooms. Oh. And I used both. Mm. And I re- realized very quickly I suck at centipede. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Was anybody asking Brubaker about Daredevil? No. Nobody? No. A lot of people got Daredevil shit signed. That's cool. I wonder if they were just because of this, the season, if they yeah. were like, hey, man. Uh, they were Marvel. Marvel was advertising the the hell out of it. I bet. I'm sure. Yeah. Um, and of course, Bat, you know, DC was promoting two things. They were promoting obviously Batman v Superman, and they were also promoting DC. That's where they announced the DC Rebirth. That's lineup. right. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. It's so, interesting stuff. Yeah. I mean, Greg Rucka and Nicola Scott, who we've had on the That's show, right. doing Wonder Woman. That was awesome. And I was I asked her because she was. Uh, on online, I didn't ask her in person. She mm. was there. I, th- I think she was in Australia, and she was like, "Yeah, Black Magic is taking six months because I'm only doing the first arc. Mm-hmm. And they're jumping back to Black Magic." We'd love to have her on again to talk about Wonder Woman. Yeah, yeah, or what, what she, she thought, thought of about maybe Superman. Yeah, yeah, maybe I can. I still got the email. Still got her. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 And we still got her Skype stuff. I'm sure. Yep. But uh, yeah, she's not the special guest <laughs> next week. Nah, <laughs> bummer. <laughs> but um. Yeah, so we saw Ten Cloverfield Lane. That's right. Yeah, yeah, that Yay. feels like forever ago yeah. for some reason. You know, I, I got why, yeah, <laughs> I got to a whole trip to California. Yeah, though. seriously. Yeah, um, you know, I don't think the ending the ending doesn't take me out of the film, no. but I can tell the filmmakers were like, "This is where we take it," and it goes from a claustrophobic thriller, completely changes genres, to zero to a hundred. Would y- you say? Yeah, yeah. real real quick, quick <laughs> to a sci-fi actioner. Yeah, and audiences will love it. Yeah, and I'm sure some audience. Josh, I'm sure you loved yes, it. Josh, yeah, Josh yeah. loved it. Yeah, um, and I mean, I mean, judging by its like critical response, you're not alone. Yeah, it d- it's mm-hmm. done very well. Yeah, yeah. So. Um, it's already almost tr- uh, tripled its budget. The um, it it's jarring. It didn't quite. Do it, it. I think Chris said as much last week. Like mm-hmm. it just feels like a completely different movie. And yeah, and I think you know, to Chris's credit, we both kind of agree with the whole idea. Two things. Yeah, the ending is you know kind of whatever. Two. Imagine if that movie wasn't called Cloverfield. Didn't have and, that baggage, and we didn't know for sure if there yeah. were aliens. We knew, like Chris didn't spoil anything. Josh didn't spoil anything by telling us there were aliens at the end of that movie. We knew there were fucking aliens at the end of that movie because of the again the baggage. Because of the baggage. If it wasn't, if it was originally called The Cellar or whatever it was, and it really played on that, and would that have made the ending like holy shit, there really were aliens? Maybe wouldn't it have been even worse. Maybe. But I think as I'm as I was watching the movie, I was like, man, imagine if this played with your mind a little more like that. That being said, I think as I think Chris and Josh said too, when you're in the cellar, the you know the uh, underground, whatever, it plays really kind of it's you know you get goosebumps and it's it's lean it's, mean it's yeah. fighting machine. Um, it's what it, lean gene mean uh, the same way yeah <laughs> the same way with uh, no more questions the same way with. Uh, Cream of the crop. Yeah, the cream of the crop. <laughs> I can't even do that Im- imitation right now. Rise to the top. Um, uh, it, it kind of like Cloverfield, I don't feel the urge to ever watch the movie ever again because all of its of its moments have been played out like that. I think all the cast is really good. Uh, Jim from Newsroom. Who I didn't, John Gallagher Jr. Who I didn't think it, I didn't. I was like, hey, man, it looks a lot like him. And Sam's like, that's because it is. And I was like, okay, mm. fair enough. Uh, <laughs> Mary Elizabeth Weinstein is fantastic. Yes, yeah, she and is. And John Goodman is really, really fantastic, I think, uh, and super creepy. Although, until spoilers for anyone again, just real quick. Yeah. I mean, you, should, you know the truth yeah. by now. Yeah. The, but uh, <laughs> yeah, mutated. You're lucky. Th- or you, you, you heard us talk about it last time. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> mutated acid face, acid hand, John Goodman for me was that's dumber when, than yeah. the other movie. Come play with me. Come play with me, Michelle. <laughs> Michelle. <laughs> Michelle, Let's be friends. Oh, my hand, I'm gonna explode. I look like Two Face now. Ah, yeah. Michelle. He, I mean, he, to be fair, we were saying he looked pretty good. He for actually looks face first better than Two Face. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, you got a little something on your ear there. But yeah, he, yeah, yeah. Half of your yeah. shirt's maybe a little corroded now. Yeah. I'm yeah. hanging on this vent. I'm gonna see outside of it. Where he's hanging on the vent. Yeah. The how does the knife go yeah. in sideways to the vent? Yeah. Like top bottom makes sense. Yeah. But well, so- uh, her her vent, uh, and this isn't gonna do well for the uh, listening audience. But if you look at my room right sell here, it, sell it. yeah, this this this. Where where the, the the ceiling comes down right over Jake's head? Yeah. That's a vent. Yeah. You could stab someone in the side there. Mm. Fair enough. I, mm. I I would rather see like 
half mute uh, melted John Goodman trying to get on the table to stand up there and go, eh, go play with me. Um, because yeah, that, that for me was stupider than her actually seeing aliens. Now granted they go over the top with her taking out an alien. Like when, when Chris said she takes out with a Molotov cocktail, I thought it, like she just throws it at an alien it, and it catches on fire and dies. She gets like, like the sucked, weird random one that's yeah, running around. She gets like sucked up into the mouth of it. And I'm thinking, okay, she's going to sacrifice herself. But then like, of course, like throws it in perfectly closes. It explodes. She like, again has like basically a worse car crash hitting the ground from like 70 feet up in the air wakes up. I do like that little like thing. Cause they play, you know, you know, I do, I have the stones to do the right thing. If something's happening in front of me and that, you know, she kind of makes that choice in the end to go towards, you know, where they need help. Houston. Yeah. yeah. So Houston, Planet Houston. Again, overall, I think we, we both agreed it was, it, it was enjoyable. Film. Yeah, it's enjoyable. I didn't. I don't regret watching. That's it. some nice pizza, at California pizza, kitchen. Yeah, kitchen beforehand. Did I have any pizza? I had a pizza at the Rolling Stone um, restaurant in LAX, mm-hmm. and they were like flat. The f- oh yeah, they were like flatbread pizzas, and I was like, oh, cool. Like you know, I guess. Kind of like how Domino's has like the f- almost like cracker like. That's thin crust. Yeah. Ah, yeah, thin crust is where it's at. Maybe that's where I fucked yeah. up. Yeah, th- flatbread is still pretty. Can be pretty thick. They come out with this like, like lunchable, grown up <laughs> lunchable sized pizza, mm-hmm. which. Yeah, th- that's th- flatbread yeah, that's, that's pizza. flatbread pizza. Yeah, so it tastes. <laughs> yeah, so fuck me. <laughs> 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 um, You'll never forget thin crust. Yeah, of, uh, it yeah. tasted fine, but yeah. I remember when they like first put it out, I was just like. Yeah, which is funny because oh, it's actually you see Cisco? it's it's actually <laughs> it's actually supposed to be like a fancy you know like fine dining appetizer yeah. kind of thing. But yeah, you're right. It totally looks like a Lunchables pizza. Yeah. This is why I like pictures in my menus. True that. Yeah, like sheets. Yeah, where you literally just click the picture and tell them what oh. you want. Yeah, I love some sheets. Yeah. I love sheets. I love College, it, bro. College. Damn it! Now I'm hungry. Mm. We can go to sheets. I'm There's one too. that's not too far away from here. Yeah. Play that fucking Wonder Woman theme. Wonder Woman has a theme. Oh, Ooh. you are in for a treat. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I'm. I mean, it's yes, not Wonder a, Woman yeah, has a theme. That's not a big spoiler. <laughs> no. When yeah, when, no, when uh, I mean, no, we're just saying you're in for a fucking treat. In in the shot in the trailer where Wonder Woman appears, so I'm not spoiling anything. <laughs> uh, there's a musical cue that you that's not in the trailer because you know it's part of the movie. But yeah, w- right when like she's you know taking that hit. You know, that big laser blast. Like, it just goes... <laughs> it's a guitar riff, and it's like almost a thrash metal yeah. drum song. Oh, and I was so like, fucking... It's I was like, hey, I never thought this... I was like, Batman and Superman, get the fuck out of here, yeah. and let's just watch the Wonder Woman movie. I was so happy that I was wearing a Wonder Woman shirt oh, at that point. Mm. It was just a funny pun to me, but after, like, she rocked it in that movie, I was like, yes. So Godot does a good job. Yes. Okay. So she she does steals a the show. Job. Okay, let's do this. Okay. Who does the best job? Who does the worst job? Uh, let's go around, Chris. Uh, well, uh, I feel like uh, Jake and I see eye to eye on this. Uh, I'm going to say uh, Godot steals the show. Like, she does the best job. Yeah, Brian. Yeah. yeah. She does the best job at her character. By the way, I've heard and... her name pronounced differently from, like, everybody. Like, yeah. everybody has a different pronunciation for her name. Yeah. I like I like uh, Gail Godot, even yeah. though I'm I've pretty heard sure it's Gal. Gal. Gadot, Gal, yeah. Gal. Oh, real quick, did you know she was in the Israeli military? Yes. Yes. Yeah. It's mandatory. All, yeah. All Israelis have to be in the military. Even uh, Maytel Cohen, the girl that uh, makes those cool drumming videos, she's she was been like a the... weapons expert. Yeah. Yeah. That's fucking badass. Mm. Yeah. So she is that badass. Yeah. 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 Uh, and then uh, I, I'm still still on the fence with Henry Cavill's Superman, mm. uh, but Ben Affleck does a great job. Not as good as uh, Godot, but you know, still yeah. uh, Cavill at the bottom of the pile for me. <clears throat> No, which is not to say he does crap. He's just kind of, I, I, I'm not crazy about Zack Snyder's uh, Superman that he plays. So, mm, I mean, but but still, like I, I, I that, I'd still put it in that order. Though. Yeah, better than Eisenberg Adams. Um, yes. Although I will say, and uh, I'll save it more because I, I will go on at length. I was pleasantly surprised with Eisenberg's Lex Luthor, but, um. Gail Godot. I, I, guess I was just thinking of the three yeah. superheroes. I, I, yeah, yeah. If you want to throw it in there, Michael Shannon as not Zod. Yeah, <laughs> uh, uh, I'll, I'll say I'll say Amy Adams, uh, Lois Lane was the bottom of the pile for like the main cast. Gail Godot, uh, you know, steals the show for me. She's not in it very much, obviously, but when she's on it, she just fucking nails it. Snap. Um, 
I like Henry Cavill's Clark Kent so much more than his Superman in this movie, especially. I think his, uh, you know, his Superman. We'll get way into that. Uh, there's still moments I love, but his I really enjoyed his Clark Kent. Um, uh, ben Affleck, you know, everyone's loving his Batman. It's awesome for me. The my the weakest, and I was in this motherfucker's corner, but I just do not like the choices he made. Jesse Eisenberg like is way on the bottom for me. Like I I do not like the choices and that I, dude made. And I that think movie. that's because I was like the uh, leading up to it, I was like. Fuck Jesse Eisenberg yeah, being opposite. yeah being being cast as Lex Luthor. Fuck that. And then within like five minutes of his uh, appearing on screen, I was like, you know what? He's not that bad. And 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 parts of it really enjoying it. Uh, and yeah, <laughs> it was kind of funny and, that we yeah, both flipped the opposite. His performance is fine, but like the what they what the way they went with what he is, I don't like. And um, I thought that I thought Amy Adams is is I liked her Lois much better in this than in Man of Steel the end um yes uh, wonder woman definitely did steal the show i think in my opinion uh ben affleck probably one of the best superman or batmans <laughs> you know what ben affleck was superman the best too. superman in this movie his batman does <laughs> kick some major yeah, balls his batman's probably now well i, th- I, I remember leading I, up I to this you were wanna... you were saying that ben affleck was your favorite batman yeah uh, i don't know if i, I still want to make him my favorite because so... it's, it's it's an honest tie between him and michael keaton yeah it always will be for me i yeah I, I do think leading up to that was just more so to just like get the goat of uh you know like uh the quote-unquote true fans yeah uh, uh who are just like fuck ben affleck he was in that one daredevil movie that i didn't like so therefore he's a terrible person and he can never make any good movies and like it's wrong he makes plenty of good movies. Yeah. He just makes some weird choices about his, what his, movies to be. His in. Bruce and yeah, but are, are well, even as a director, he makes great movies. He is an amazing director. Yes, but um, I forwarded the argument that he may very well be a better director than an actor. And, I, that, I, and that's not someone that that's not a slight against his acting. No, and, yeah. I, and I, I've, I, I think I've I'd said that about yeah. I've said that so, about Clint Eastwood, and I love Clint Eastwood as an actor, if, but I think he's a better director. If he's handed Batman to direct and star in, Ooh. he better be. Oh. Yes, I think we will get an amazing Batman from him. Yeah. But um, a, a, a Batman Gone Girl. <laughs> Oof. But well, I, I mean, think... he, that was Fincher. Yeah, that was. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. a Litown though. Yeah, Argo was he Argo? Yes, he was Argo. Yeah. It was Argo. Batman Argo. Yeah. 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 Ooh. Ooh, how about Ooh. he directs the the desert scenes for when that actually you know happens? Ooh. <laughs> Just <laughs> keep sure. Why not? Snyder. Yeah. But um, Goyer. Yeah, I I will say probably the weakest of this was. Lois, um, I enjoyed the uh, criticisms that were taken for Superman and the uh, changes they made for him in this film. Uh, I thought Jesse Eisenberg's Lex, uh, for what they were going for for this film, was brilliant. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's a version of Lex we haven't seen, but it works well for what the character can be. In my in my opinion, Lex was kind of kind of in the same vein of like where Gene Hackman and Kevin Spacey were going, but uh, it felt a little bit more real because it wasn't just him being an eccentric weirdo and just like Ooh, randomly like you know doing dances and stuff like that. But or you actually saw battling over real estate. Yeah, like. <laughs> sure uh but like you actually saw him like have some weird like mental tics and stuff like that and you're like oh oh, okay this is a person who's so smart that he's not all there you know like he's he's such a genius that like kind of like kind of like what uh uh they they said with like sherlock uh with like the benedict cumberbatch one where he's like so smart that he doesn't know simple things like he doesn't know that the the solar system is heliocentric you know but it also like, plays up his like sociopathic tendencies. Exactly, and I think, and I think that the Jesse Eisenberg Lex Luthor is along those same lines, which I really ended up enjoying. Like I, he's still a little bit uh, too animated for my tastes, but for it, fictional it, characters allowed. Yeah, <laughs> but it felt like a more real, like quote unquote, realistic character. Well, especially if they're trying to ground it so much in like gritty realism. Yeah, exactly. Like it, it, it would like uh like I'm not going to I'm not going to like say that he's like, you know, like autistic or something like that. But it like they peppered in they peppered in like things that you see with, uh, you know, people who are on the spectrum where like he's just he's like, no, I'm 100 percent right. And like there's no other way, that, you know, like the, I, I, you know, he's not comprehending like how like, you know, like various like social, uh, you know, uh, uh 
what's the word? Um, Situations? Well, uh, uh, like... Th- Social things, norms. Not, then... not even norms. Like, just like uh, things that are specific to, uh, to individual people. Like, um, like uh, he uh, doesn't pick up on uh, things that, like, only specific individuals would do. Like, he has just very blanket... Like, he's like, no, this is how everything is because this makes sense to me. And, like, you know how uh, individuals will have their own perceptions and like they'll have their own mannerisms and stuff yeah. like that kind of like you don't see the world the same way i do yeah and he yeah. and it's just not like fanboys <laughs> yeah 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 right fanboys uh <laughs> fanboys inc yeah <laughs> uh, we're, we're friends with some people yeah, fanboys, huh? yeah. but yeah no chris that <laughs> was yeah. a... so it seems it seems a little bit more grounded in reality that someone that smart would have certain uh deficiencies in other parts of uh, just comprehension yeah, you know, uh, because they do definitely play up how like genius he is on everything else, you know. So like it, you know, his brain is equalizing by you know um, messing up his like ability to socialize, ability to speak publicly, and stuff like that. Uh, so I liked it. Thumbs up to 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 Jesse Eisenberg. Sorry for for doubting you before I even had a chance to see what you were doing. I'm sorry for trusting you. <laughs> no, I again, I think what he his performance that he turned was fine. Yeah. I just didn't like the choice they made with it. That's all. I mean, I would love to see a live action version of the Lex Luthor from like, like any of the animated sh- uh, shows or movies because it's always more or less the same uh, type of character, and we haven't seen that on screen yet. Yeah, give me uh, Clancy Brown from yes. Superman the Animated Series, where he's basically Honor Majesty's Secret Service Blofeld, even drawn the same way. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You never make see him, his you know, head. Make him, yeah. uh, make him scary. Yeah, you know, make I, you make you fear Lex Luthor. I, I don't fear Jesse Eisenberg's Lex Luthor. I did at a few all. times fear this one. Yeah, I don't fear the Reaper. Mm. It's it's all about Rosenbaum, man. Yeah, that's all. I'll end it on that because that's enough of that. Yeah, and that might be enough of this because mm. look at the time, boys. Yeah, we gotta sign out. But like I said, next week we're gonna go whole ham. Just, mm-hmm. Mm. And maybe do a full on Daredevil too. Yeah. Since most of us have watched it, but California. I've been busy, guys. Yeah. You can talk about it. <laughs> I mean, it no. was good. Yeah. yeah I, we'll I do we'll I do see. want much like how we're holding off on Batman. Thumbs up Superman, thumbs up Punisher? Thumbs, oh, thumbs up thumbs up way. thumbs way up. He, I've he's, seen him like, he's the Gail Godot of uh Punisher <laughs> season, season two. two. Or Daredevil <laughs> season. Yeah, it might as well be Punisher season two. Because uh, I only just saw her. What are your real quick <laughs> zero to a hundred? Real quick. I know what I'm going to name this one. Obviously, <laughs> uh, Gail Godot. <laughs> yeah, uh, Elodie Young. Um, Elodie Young. Electra. Eh. I've never been crazy about Electra. Period. And like, she didn't turn me. She really grew on me. I'll tell you. By the yeah. end of it, I, I really dug it. I liked her. I, I did like her better than Jennifer Garner's portrayal. <laughs> I was about to say. Well, <laughs> she's no Jennifer Garner, but then again, no one could be that bad. Ooh. It was one of my uh, one of my roommates in college had that the director's cut of Electra on DVD. And he was like, "It's the best." I'm like, "Fuck, okay." <laughs> well, I know what I'm applying for. Uh, yeah. I know I room. see the world in rose tinted glasses, but <laughs> Jesus Christ, what is that guy's prescription? You cause... see, you see the r- world in rose tinted glasses, except for Star Wars and Ghostbusters Two, and Electra apparently. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I want to know what whatever Kool Aid that guy was drinking. I want some. <laughs> so you can, can just complete the set. Yeah. So, um, I can, so I can enjoy Electra. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, all the power to him for enjoying something in that movie that I probably never will. <laughs> or can see. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, I mean, I, I see the movie just fucking fine. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I'm not stick. But the... Uh, <laughs> or Matt Murdock. <laughs> or Matt Murdock. Yeah. The world is on fire. Great. Um, he does a lot of yours? that. He does a lot of that heavy breathing after he fights people in this yeah. season. Which I love. He's like, because hey, 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 hey. he just like you know beat the shit out of like a million people. It's awesome. He look, looks, you know, he's like looking around. It like does crazy. make sense that he would be out of breath. I love it. Yeah, he's the best part of that season. Gassed, man. Now let's go get gassed. Fuck that. No. no. To sheets. To sheets. To, to sheets. sheets. This has been another installment catching up. I'm Sam. I'm Chris. I'm Jake. I'm Josh. Fuck Wawa. Oh no! Whoa! No! Yeah, can't right. end on that. Ah! No! No! Thank you very much, Chris. Finish it. Thank you very much. Good night, Eric. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>